Hello, audience! Welcome to the Joel Safari. Ahead is the road less traveled. And I, the Joel, will be your tour guide as we explore together. Today, we resume our tour of Terraria! And there's a new version! And I guess they want me to tell them what language I like. Let's see here, English? Uh... Do we... Do, I guess that's... Dutch? Italian? French? And Spanish. As I like to call them, English, douche, uh, Italiano, Francis, and Espanol. Okay, so, I, I speak and read the English, which is, uh, my native language. And I think that, that's hopefully the only thing that's different. I don't, I don't know. I, I did not know that there was a new version out, so now I'm very concerned that maybe it'll, it'll break when I go to play. It'll be like, start a new game, and I'll be all new. Pro probably not, though. Let's go find out. And we resume our tour of... Uh, there's my guy. Uh, Looks like me. The Wild. Da -da -da. Let's see. Oh, well, everything looks pretty normal here. Yep, pretty normal. Alright, cool. So, last time, uh, we were hanging out, having cool times. So why is this part red and this part's orange? I think it's the lighting. Let's uh let's make these area of town a little bit easier to get around in the platforms. Platforms are your friend. Have you hugged the platform today? There we go. See by adding these platforms here, I'll be able to get around my town a little bit easier. Here's our new friend, the demolitionist. I had a platform here too. There we go. And a little bit of one here. There we go. Now we can get around town. See? Very easy. As our town gets taller, we'll probably eventually put a protective shield around here so we don't fall off the side and die. We'll see. So this is the demolition. Let's just go talk to him. I wonder what happens if I. Boom! Oh, sorry. Did you need that leg? Okay. Oh, I just need a wise acre. So we got dynamite, bomb, and grenade. Now, there's a nice little trick that you can do if you would like to get an obsidian skull before you defeat any of the bosses, is you get dynamite, and dynamite will blow up obsidian that you have created with water without you having to mine it with a demonite pickaxe. You can't get a demonite pickaxe until you've killed some of the bosses. Uh, this is a nice little shortcut here. Uh, 50 silver apiece, so I can't... I can afford a few right now, but I think I'm going to grab some of my money before I worry about that. So let's, uh, let's go over here and see what we can find in our cases. I really want to get my, my organization in order. I'm a bit concerned about spending a lot of time on it. But I figure if I spend a little bit of time each video, I'll eventually get it all straightened out. Let's see, I need some blocks, some dirt there. So I figure I'm just going to keep expanding this chamber in, in, until I have enough room for all my containers. And I'll just kind of build the hill up as I go. So it'll all kind of, it'll stretch out, and eventually I'll just kind of fill this area in. So let's see, uh, I believe I found a chest the last time I was playing. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Not seeing a chest, oh, platforms. What are my platforms doing in there? Silly platforms. And some stone, I could use a little bit of stone. If you hold down the right mouse button, you steadily increase your pile size. There we go. Anything else we actually need? Ooh, dynamite. Take that, and some iron ore, mud block, tiki torch, we need to replace our tiki torch. Copper ore, a bomb, we could use that. Night owl potion, eh, yeah, not that useful. Da, 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 da. Oh, statue, we'll put that out somewhere. Okay, what's in this one? No, that was the one I was just looking at. What's in this one? There's another statue. Ooh, mushroom statue. That looks fun. Oh, okay. Gills potion. Might be useful, actually. I don't know why I put that away. I think I just auto-filled last time I was hanging out. Wood walls, if I expand my house, be useful. There's some coins. Let's bring by some dynamite. We need some coins. Hmm. Got too many coins. Yeah, make a silver coin. If you have a hundred copper coins, you can make one silver coin. And if you have a hundred silver coins, you can make one gold coin. If you have one, if you have a hundred gold coins, you can make one platinum coin. Let's see where the rest of my copper... Oh, here's the rest of my copper. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Let's 
let's see, mushrooms, bottle, da, 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 anything I actually need, right? I want more copper ore, more money, oh, another silver coin. Let's make a gold coin too while I'm at it, because I got all the silver. I'll make a gold coin. Ah, oh, man, it's so exciting, guys. Can you believe it? I'm playing with stuff in my inventory. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. Gold coin. Okay. There we go. Okay, copper bar, iron bar, iron bar. So, okay, I want to do stuff with iron today. I'm not going to bother making anything on copper because we're kind of done with copper. But I want to uh, at least make bars out of the copper that I have. And I know I don't have enough silver or gold to do anything with because that's what I did last time. We got an extra bomb. Take that. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, I got a full pile of shurikens. No, no. Where did all my shurikens go? I thought I had a whole bunch. Must have killed something with them. Maybe that's like a partial pile and I got more of them hidden away somewhere. I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. We got a few statues to place. We got some copper to smelt. Let's see here. Smelt, 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 smelt. Ha, ah, iron. I wonder, do, do I have an iron helmet somewhere? I don't think I do. If I have a full iron set, I might have just enough stuff to to go beyond what I have now. Where did I have one hidden away somewhere? I want to more money. <laughs> My stuff is so disorganized. Don't worry, audience. We won't be at this too much longer. Oh, silver ore that we did not process. Iron ore. Okay, we'll have to do something with those. Aglets. Oh, well, we should equip one of these. Why don't we have any of these equipped? 5% increased movement speed. And 3% melee. Oh. oh, we already have one on. That's right. Does this one do? One defense. Yeah, I like defense. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Here's my copper helmet. Okay. Iron helmet. Iron helmet. Oh, I'm so organized. Do, 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 do. Is that silver? Oh. Well, if I combine... Wait, no. No, that was all my silver. Yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay. I know exactly what I'm doing. Do not worry. Do not worry at all. Okay, do I have any more... Do I have any more metal? Let's all this. Where the, where the rest of the copper? Bro? I thought I had copper in that case. Ah, okay. Let's make some iron hats. Let's see if that actually provides me with more defense than the silver hat with my current setup. Okay, currently it's 11 defense. And if I equip the full iron outfit. I have 14 defense, which is better, and I look like an idiot, which is great. So what we'll do is we'll, take, we'll just wear the iron outfit with goggles. Yeah, there, I look cool. And I have more defense, which is the important thing. Although looking cool is cool. Let's see here. Oh, dang it, now I need to make space. I want to put all this junk in here. Okay, now I've got mushrooms elsewhere in storage. Probably need like a method to to my storage, which should, which should probably help. Oh, I guess I could put that bronze in with those other bronze pieces. I got iron ore, silver ore. Anything else that needs to be stored? This stuff. Okay. Let's go back to this one. Add in with the rest. There we go. Put that stuff together. Add that to my inventory. Swimmingly, swimmingly, this is how it's going. Okay. Got a little bit of iron left after making my hat. Let's put it in here. Okay. Let's go place those statues. Uh, let's see, I got one over here already, so let's start making a statuarium over here. Go. But we'll do those, put a little. We'll start off with a bit of platform. Get out of the way! Alright, guide. Okay, we'll put a bit of platform here so we can drop down, and then over here is gonna be my statuarium. Yeah, right here. So we got our cross statue and our mushroom statue. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Totally awesome. Can I get out? Okay, great. And we'll put a torch. Oh, we'll put the tiki torch over here so we can see our awesome statuary. Yeah. Awesome. So, there we go. We placed our statues. We gotta make some more bars. More bars. Let's see here. A little bit more silver. A little bit more iron. Okay, let's drop this iron off here. I thought I had more iron now. Is this, this one? Yeah, there we go. Iron to do something with someday. I think I had more silver in here. Yeah. 
I don't think 25 is enough to get the next piece of gear going. Let's go see. Okay, and we go. Uh, yeah, I can do boots. Put those in my hat. Then all we need is silver armor, and we'll have a full silver set. Not that one. This one. Yeah, see, there's the silver boots. And, uh, take this bow out. I have a better bow, right? Sluggish wooden bow for damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell this. Let's go sell this. Mr. Merchant. Yeah. I am skillful. Shop. You have no idea how much dirt blocks sell for overseas. Let's see here. Let's give him this lame wooden bow. Let's see here. Shurikens, arrows, torches, mining helmet. Mining helmet's kind of cool. It's it's worth the cost because it provides a constant aura of light around you, which is a pretty cool effect. Uh, piggy bank's actually a cool thing to have. Let's get a piggy bank. So, piggy bank is a rather simple item. You place it uh, like that with a little left click, and you access it. And the cool thing about a piggy bank is uh, every piggy bank has all the same stuff in it. So if you place one piggy bank here and one on the other side of the world, it has the same stuff in it, which is pretty cool. And the other cool thing is that when other players come and play in your world, if you do multiplayer, they can't get the stuff that's in your piggy bank. They, they would be their own stuff. And if, I think if you go to other worlds, the stuff in your piggy bank stays the same. So you can take it and go to another, you go to a whole other world, and you can buy a piggy bank there and place it. It'll have the same stuff that's in your piggy bank now. It's like part of your inventory. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, let's buy some dynamite. And maybe we can see about getting some obsidian. If you throw this one in the bathtub and close all the windows, it'll clear your sciences and pop your ears. Well, that's good. That's good information. I feel knowledgeified. How much, how much dynamite can you put in a pile these days? Oh, five. Okay, it used to be three. Five. Four. Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> Spent all my money on dynamite. Ah, that's okay. It'll be totally worth it when we get an obsidian skull, because we're totally going to get an obsidian skull. Okay, you know, I'm using my instant button for that these days. Let's see. Uh, yeah, sure. That looks pretty good. Well, yeah, whatever. Okay, looks great. Oh, and I still have this. I have another armor statue. Okay, let's go place that one as well. Oh, I, I dug it up by accident. Okay, there. Now they can all be together. Except the one that's over here. The bow statue. I want to destroy this hill eventually, so I think I'm going to take this bow statue away. I'm digging up the dirt from under it. And like I promised, I'm going to take a little bit more away from that each time. And put our bow statue here in our statuarium. Aha! Awesome. Hey, guy, check it out. I made a statuarium. It's, it's cool, right? Okay. So my inventory is kind of clear. A uh, good amount of wood, good amount of light. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's let's go kick some butt. Let's go see how our digging worked out last time. Our goal is to have a distance where if we drop down, we don't get injured each with each of these drops. Ooh, that was close. Oh, uh, we're okay. Oh, I accidentally dug up my own torch trying to kill the worm. Thanks, worm. Switch over to sword so we can deal with you. Uh, this looks somewhat precarious. <laughs> I tried to jump like I had a cloud in a bottle. That doesn't work unless you have a cloud in a bottle. Okay, yeah, we need to place something here. I nearly died from that fall. Ow, jerk. You come back here and tell me that, huh? Yeah. Worms. Okay, let's see. We need something to place platforms on. Can we worm? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get something done here. Worms are so insensitive. Come on back and come on back now. I get my sword out. Yeah. I'm the king of this dirt. Don't mess with me. Okay, get back up here. And place a little more dirt so it all lines up. Yeah, it looks about right. Keep opening my inventory instead of using my uh, grappling hook. I'll get it. Okay, there we go. That's better. So now if I fall through there, I won't get hurt. This one looks a little iffy, but my health is recovered now, so I'm going to give it a full dropping try if I can actually get here. I'm going to put a little bit of light in. It's kind of dim. There we go. Okay, let's see how this one works. Oh, see? Didn't get injured. That's what we're looking for. Cool. Ooh, that looks scary. <laughs> kind of a far drop there. Yeah, let's put some uh, let's put some platforms in. Yeah, well, one will do the trick. We'll put more in the next time around. Oop, that looks kind of far, too. Yeah, let's put some platforms in. I can't tell how far down it is. Oh, man. 
Haha, <laughs> slime, you missed. Get my magic boomerang. Boomerang! Boom, 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 boom. You can't collect items with the boomerang like in Zelda. That'd be pretty cool if you could. I'm about to write Mr. Uh, Relogic. Relogic? No. Redigit a letter. Redigit's the programmer. Okay, let's run a little dirt along here. Attach some platforms. There, safe fish. A little bit more. Okay. So it looks like the next bit we want to play is right about here. More light. Man, I was doing so sloppy last time. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit more. There we go. That's what I like to see. Nice and neat. Alright, skeletons. With you and me. Not really you. Wait, not really me. Yeah. Look, I can talk. Alright. Yeah, try and jump up here. Ooh. Yeah, you got nothing. Why are you falling through the platform? I can't get out of there. <laughs> oh, you think you're so smart with your advanced AI? Ha, huh, you're dead now. Okay, so this is where we're going down. But it looks like we kind of moved over here, and I'm cool with that. We'll make it more neat some other time. We just want it to be safe enough that I can drop down here in a hurry next time. Looks like about here will be good for the next set. Now we're in Mushroomville, which is good. This one looks a little bit far. Let's put a bit in the middle. There we go. And down here. I can't see what's going on here. I think it's water. Oh, we're at the bottom. Okay, great. Great. Awesome. This is where we want to be. We are hoping to eventually get down far enough that we have lava. And then what we'll do is we'll channel in some water when we hit the lava to make obsidian. And then we'll drop dynamite on it. Totally works. Maybe we'll even make some fancy pumps to do it with. I don't know if you can make pumps yet. Uh, maybe pumps are only for hard worlds. Because uh, you, you're not instantly in a hard world when you start the game. You have to actually earn a hard world by killing uh, the hardest boss. Oh, I want to see if that drop will kill me. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. Greatly great. Let's put a little glow stick down here so we can see what we're doing as we dig. Oh, really? Boomerang! Ha! Ah. One of the nice things about the magical boomerang here, the, this one, Demonic Enchanted Boomerang, is the effect it has is it, it carries light with it. It brightens up the area you throw it in. So it's a nice little way to see what's going on around you if you don't have uh, a way over to a particular area if you want to look ahead. It's a nice trick. Anyways, it looks like we found some gold. That's a nice little uh, capstone to this episode, considering it's mostly just me, you know, messing around town. So let's dig up this gold, go back home, and uh, we've extended our hole a little bit. We didn't find lava to make uh, any obsidian yet, but we made our hole a little bit deeper, and we organized the inventory a little bit, and improved our defense. I think we made some fair progress here. Let's head back home. There we go, like so. Waha! And I'll just spend a moment or two more trying to get things organized with my junk here. Let's see, what's over here? That's some awful, awful stuff. It looks like this is a good one to call a plant box. Okay, this one here, I'm only going to put in plant byproducts and plants. So there we go. Now it's just the plant box. Later on, I'll put up a sign that says this is the plant box or something like that. So in here, um, we can take the plant items out put some of the items we removed from that other one in. Those are all plant items. Flowers, seeds, acorns, uh, cactus. Those are all plant items. Now we can put in some of the things we pulled out. These swords that we're probably going to sell. This old pickaxe. Uh, what else did I pull out? Cobwebs. It's not a plant material. It's a spider material. And uh, the shine potion. Uh, it's a war of light. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then we'll put the plant items that we got in here. So it's all nice and organized. At least one box is. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through this, audience. The organizing process, I know, is not super exciting. It blooms. Okay, we got some explosives, grenades. I'm not a big fan of grenades because they only hurt monsters. They don't destroy the background. It's kind of annoying. Okay, if they were contact-based, that'd be better, you know, so they hit a bad guy to explode. Maybe I'll mess with them in a later episode so you guys can see how they work. Uh, let's see. Non plant items now we can go here. Got some blood blocks and some cobweb. Oh, that pile's full. There we go. And we got some, a little bit of gel and some copper ore. So let's go make some copper bars really quick. So we're almost out of time here. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't very many 
I was hoping for a few more. Where's the rest of my gold at? We got, we got 15 now. We got a little more gold ore. Maybe we... What, what was that? Oh, that was my magic recovering because uh, it used up my magic to... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I don't have enough to do more gold bars. I can make gold gear. Oh, there's one more gold bar. Okay, 16. Yeah, see, I don't have enough to make any gold armor, which is what I want before I make any more gold gear. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to put our gold away, and we're going to call it done. We're going call it done. Yeah. Totally done. We are way over time. Okay. So with that, I say... This is where the tour stops for now. We've made it this far together. Please return soon for the next episode of Joel Safari.